Picture this. You're going to gym class just wanting it to be a nice, simple day. You walk in and the new unit is football. Your day automatically gets worse because you know what's coming next. The guys gather up all together on their own team and we start playing. Every time you drop the ball, the guys go crazy and scream at you like it's the Olympics. They treat you like you're the least athletic person they've ever seen. That you're tired of them trash talking you. That's the guys at Alma High School for you. As you can tell, this rant speech is all about boys. More specifically, how they annoy everyone. <laughs> Please note that I said boys, not men. As we were growing up in elementary school, I'm sure you all remember a scenario where you told the teacher that a boy is picking on you, and she said, he's just doing that because he likes you. Where, how can you tell that to a little girl that's getting rocks thrown at her? Where's the logic behind that? Who is teaching little boys that treating a girl with disrespect is the way to her heart? Now that we are all a little older, we can see that teasing a girl to show your interest in her is the worst thing that you can do. Leading on to another one of my points, boys have no sense of what is going on around them. Say you are dropping hints to a boy that you've liked for a while. It will take him at least a month to get the hint that you're interested. Boys just aren't capable of noticing anything around them except themselves. It's the cold truth. Plus, boys always have some crazy beauty standard that most of us just are physically unable to meet. Like being naturally brunette may be a beauty standard, and just some blonde chicks aren't able to meet that without it being a dire wig. Girls are just much more practical and reasonable with a lot of things. Boys also just can't read the room very well. If you don't know what I mean by that statement, I mean they are unable to comprehend the mood of everyone. Boys are just overall difficult to understand, but some are the best people you'll ever meet. And maybe one day, like our role model Hannah Montana says, he could be the one. <laughs>